If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. We have a massive college football update that just came out. This was the world's worst kept secret because I called this in the last update video that I put out that there was most likely going to be an update on the 29th, and that's exactly what happened. So this is very huge, so we're going to get right into it because I don't want to waste too much time in the intro. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as I plan on doing these to keep you guys up to date. Other than that, let's go and get right into it. Now, as far as the first update, it's going to be all about gameplay. Lots of gameplay updates. The first one that they mentioned here is a new feature that you can access in your settings that if you go down to the gameplay helper section, which is something that I mentioned in the past in a lot of videos, there's a new setting called the switch stick delay. And you have the option to turn it from no delay to slight delay, large delay, or completely disabling the switch stick, which is something that I know a lot of people are really happy about because there's a lot of times when a play starts, you may be trying to make a last second adjustment and you automatically uh, switch to like a cornerback or a safety or something like that. You get lost in coverage. You don't know where you are. Next thing, you're you're running out of position, and there's a receiver just wide open, and your and your opponent sees it and bombs it up for an easy touchdown. So if you're tired of that happening, if you're tired of accidentally switch sticking uh, at any point in time, you can turn that off now in your settings. It remains to be seen whether or not it'll actually uh, stay that way because I know a lot of game modes. Um, you know, you try to turn off uh, this or that, and then you go into a game, and it, it just reverts back to normal, typically offline dynasty. Still waiting for them to fix that. Uh, but that's something that, uh, you know, is definitely going to be a big feature for a lot of people. Me, personally, I don't know if I'm going to disable it. I think Switch Stick is important if you're trying to get to that next level. So I don't know if I recommend disabling the Switch Stick entirely, but I do want to play around with these delays to see what happens with them. Maybe I'll do that in a future video once you can hit the like button for that. Uh, another issue that they fixed is something that we all expected, and they fixed the Speed Boost glitch which is something that's still available in Madden. So I don't know when they're going to update that as well. But this, but this is something that was definitely some... I, I definitely recommended not getting used to doing this because I knew that this was going to happen. That's why I didn't spend a lot of time uh, doing that. It says they're also going to... Uh, eventually rebalance the, um, the the custom stem feature in general. It says right here, DevNote, we'll be working on an additional fix slated for the next title update, which will result in further rebalancing, and this is underneath the custom stem and smart routing feature. Uh, so basically, they're, they're still aware that this can be a little bit overpowered, uh, and I know that's something that uh, I've mentioned a lot in my videos as well. Um, but I think it's actually, I think just as long as they fix the speed boost portion of it, I don't think they have to go any further. Uh, there's a couple of things here that they talk about that are really uh, geared towards pass blocking. It says, it says increase the responsiveness of pass box slider for users and CPU. And then also says fix an issue where defenders could slip through double teams without an appropriate animation. Now, I don't know if these are uh, geared towards the disengage blitzes that everybody's using when it comes to mid blitz. And I think a lot of people are doing it out of the fourth three even six one uh but that's what i take it to mean i would think that they would mention uh disengage blitzing or uh something of that nature but they didn't necessarily do that when it comes to the i mean they did call it the speed boost glitch with the custom stems but they didn't specifically mention uh the 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 mid blitz or uh disengage blitzing so i don't know if it's for that or not but it looks like they're trying to uh change certain things when it comes to blocking try to make blocking a little bit better uh, which is something that I definitely know that uh, is an issue when it comes to online gameplay. Now, another thing that I called a glitch or I said it was definitely glitchy was the fact that you could run commit from Man Zero Blitz. I've said that in multiple videos, and I had a lot of people pushing back on me saying that that wasn't a glitch. That's how it's supposed to be, even though that made no sense. What well, says right here, increase the risk of run committing from man coverage. So I told you guys that was a glitch or it wasn't acting the way it was supposed to act because they finally tuned that down. I'm, I don't know what it is necessarily that they did, but you can't run commit all games from man coverage from man zero anymore which was something that i was definitely doing and i noticed that they kind of tweaked that anyway because it was starting to have a little less effectiveness well it looks like they fully uh you know, might have took that away entirely, which is a shame because it was one of the easiest ways to play run defense in the entire game. Uh, but they can't do that anymore. That was something that I was getting a little bit used to. Uh, increase the effectiveness of pass committing as well versus trick plays, uh, which I'm guessing is like RPOs and stuff like that. I don't understand. I already thought that was kind of good already. If they're talking about RPOs and read options and stuff like that, um, I already felt like uh, that was a pretty decent trick uh, to guess uh, pass. And I said this in previous videos as well, where the quarter flats uh, would play, uh, you know, bubble screen and stuff like that better if you guess pass. I don't know when they say increase effectiveness, it might be it might be even more 
uh, broken now in the opposite direction. But that's something that we'll tell through time. Uh, next up, it says, fix an issue where players could continue to spin when using conservative uh, on a ball carrier adjustment. So I guess I didn't even know that was available. But if you set your ball carrier to conservative and your coaching adjustments, it's supposed to disable all running back moves. But apparently, you could still uh, still use a spin move. So I guess you can't do that anymore. Uh, they adjusted a lot of AI logics. It says, to, one is to, uh, to significantly reduce the chances of receiving a roughing the kicker penalty on punts and field goals. That's something that was, was happening a lot. And I think they've said that in multiple um, you know, updates now where they tried to fix that issue. So I don't know if they actually fixed it this time, but they're suggesting that they did. It also says that they, um, you know, they, they this general CPU play call and coach suggestions tuning across all modes. So if you're playing, um, you know, whatever game mode you're playing, they're just, they just changed the suggested plays. So they also increased the chance of defensive linemen sniffing out halfback screen plays, which was very low. You could run halfback screen plays all game for the most part, and linemen would never react to it. So that's going to be something that's going to be nerfed. Uh, and, you know, there's just a lot of really good uh, things that they, they did add here. Now, they also added a lot of uh, new plays, a lot of new formations, which is something they do in every single update. It says added 11 new formations to teams' playbooks, including single back wing over, uh, single back wing slot over to UConn and Charlotte. Charlotte got a lot of updates, by the way. I think they got a new U form as well. It says the pistol ace double wing to ball state. Pistol doubles Y off stack to Florida, Louisville, and Illinois. Pistol trips over Y off to Cincinnati. It seems like the same teams are getting a lot of updates to their playbook too, by the way, uh, since the last update when they did this. Pistol full house twins over to NMSU, UNLV, option spread and spread option. It says um, pistol strong tight to Liberty, Louisville, UTEP, Rice, Kennesaw State. Pistol bunch open in Missouri. Pistol ace heavy overload to Ball State. Once again, another Ball State update. Uh, pistol wing slot over to Florida, Texas A&M, Michigan, Kennesaw State. Pistol weak slot over to Texas A&M, Cincinnati. And the pistol strong trips over to Florida, uh, multiple, and Cincinnati. So lots of updates for uh, Florida in there as well. I think I named them a couple times. And uh, Cincinnati, a couple teams that just seem to be getting a lot of updates. It says they also add new jet sweep series plays under center for Utah, Bowling Green, and Kentucky. Uh, and then it says added more formations and plays to multiple teams, playbooks, specifically empty and short yards formations, will continue through future title updates. So that one there, they don't even tell you um, all the playbooks that they make changes to, but that's something they're doing every single time. Uh, they put out a big update. They're adding a lot of plays and also adding a lot of uniforms, which I'll get to in a minute. It says change default personnel for Liberty's pistol formation to have two halfbacks instead of a halfback and a, and a tight end slash fullback. And that's it for the gameplay features. There was a lot but you know a lot of big ones as well things like the the custom stem and stuff like that but let's go and let's get to dynasty now number one for dynasty it says enabled the ability to edit ratings for non-nil players and recruits which is something i know a lot of people have been asking for is the ability to edit players a little bit more uh, so that's something that you can do uh, it says further super sim logic tuning to reduce completion percentages across the country especially limiting quarterbacks completing more than 70 percent of the passes now that's something that i know uh, if you super sim a lot you just see a lot of ridiculous uh, stats uh, so that's something that they try to address it says introduce new ai super sim timing logic for in-game simming uh, play time will now scale to the selected quarter length it says dev note. This applies to super sim normal and super and super sim fast settings. So basically, they're trying to change the logic because I know a lot of people uh, said that that they may be up in a game and they'll super sim the rest of it or something, and and they're just especially when they're playing um, in the uh, I, I keep calling it superstar mode because I don't really play that, but the uh, the the mode where you're playing as an individual player. Um, sometimes the logic can be a little bit off. So there's something they're still trying to tune. These are all good things, by the way. I mean, these are all things that the game needed. And uh, look like you know to be improvements in the in the ways that people are asking. It says enabled mass subs for offline and online dynasty games when playing against the AI. You'll be able to sub in the either your entire second unit if your starters are in, or your entire starting group if your second unit is in. Which is another thing I saw a lot of people asking in the comment section was to be able to do mass substitutions because I think that might have been available in previous games. And I think it's a feature a lot of people missed in this game. Uh, so that's something that, like I said, once again, a lot of fan service here from, from the looks of a lot of these things. Now, it also says further tuning of the award system. I, I think, honestly, I, I like that because I, I did an offline dynasty. I'm still in the first season because I'm playing every game. Uh, and I had my receiver had, I think, the most receptions, yards, and I was like second in touchdowns. 
and I don't know why he didn't get any looks when it came to Heisman uh, because he, he was so far ahead of everybody, everybody else. So hopefully in a future year, if I have a match, I mean, I know I'm using a one-star team, maybe that's why. Um, but if he's, if he's, you know, in the future, I think he should have got like, you know, some Heisman recognition or something possibly maybe been in the running. It says fix an issue with stat display for returner of the year. Uh, updated data for Kent State and Oklahoma State coaching staff. These are all small. Uh, fixed an issue where the broken vertebrae inju injury was incorrectly labeled as a strained back. Now, there was also some updates to Road to Glory. That's the game mode that I couldn't think of. I kept calling it Superstar. <laughs> but number one, this is probably the most important one. It says, gave the player the ability to audible regardless of what position you were lined up on the field. So if you're a receiver or if you're a running back and you're tired, I mean, if you're the quarterback, say, of Michigan, and all they do is run the ball because I've seen, like, videos about that, uh, you can audible to a pass. You can audible, you know, if you're a receiver, you can audible to a pass. If you're a running back, you can audible to a run. So that's going to be massive for people that are tired of just running around the field and not actually being able to play as whatever position that they chose. So I really like that. It says, retuned starting attributes for all halfback archetypes, which includes an increase to speed, agility, change of direction, and stamina to lower the times you get pulled from a game after a big run. So I guess a lot of people, were, you know, in that game mode, you might have a big run and you just get tired and they just put you on the bench for a quarter. Uh, it says, retune starting attributes for all cornerback archetypes as well, which includes an increase to speed, stamina, acceleration, and agility. Now, there are also a lot of changes to Ultimate Team. It says player upgrade refund animations are no longer misaligned. I, I don't play Ultimate Team in this game, so you're going to have to bear with me on this as far as what's uh, changed. It says fixed an issue that was causing milestone progress to display incorrectly. Uh, you would see two different milestone totals at times depending an, on where in the challenge sequence you, you viewed it. Uh, and then it also says fixed an issue that was causing the filter drop down my rank and top 100 to remain on the screen after navigating away in solo battles. Fix the navigation issue on live events tabs that was giving user error messages after selecting objective. Uh, it says when viewing team chemistry on the upgrade tab of the single item viewer, the required coin amount to unlock the chem will be displayed. Previously, the amount was only shown on the confirmation pop-up then it says fix an issue with sets that gave users server error after trying to add them to an item set. Then it says also add it. It says open next pack is now available, which is surprising that it wasn't available before uh, during the fancy pack flow. So I guess it was only in that specific uh, fancy pack flow where you couldn't do that. Hopefully it's a little quicker to open up some of these rewards from season one. And then it also says cleaned up truncated text on various screens. Now, the last one we have here is presentation and UI updates. It says introducing new uniforms, which I mentioned earlier, for Arkansas State, uh, UAB, Western Kentucky, Louisville, Monroe, or sorry, Louisiana, Monroe, uh, Tennessee, ECU, West Virginia, UMass, Charlotte, Ohio State. Uh, it says Jersey swoosh will now only turn diamond when a team is in playoff games. It also says Colorado State and Minnesota. So a lot of teams. It's like 10 teams or more right there. Maybe like 12 teams. So that's pretty cool. It says updated uniform pieces for 2024 season. Charlotte, Cal, Tulsa, and Miami. I just saw a tweet too saying about uh, the Charlotte Golds were available. Um, as I'm doing this thing, it's still on my phone. So definitely a lot of stuff there. Uh, and then it says um, they also did for Road to CFP. Uh, it says additional tier rebalancing to reflect the five-tier format, which is something that they added in the last major update. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.